or record. All right, welcome everybody. This is AJ with EMP that money, and I'm joined by Steve, uh, our Splinterlands expert and longtime friend and community member here at EMP. We wanted to do a quick video uh, for all of you on the generator. So this is launching on Wednesday. Uh, uh, that's two days from this recording. Um, that is what September twenty uh, first, right, Steve? I'm not. I don't have a calendar in front of me. That sounds about right. Yeah. So uh, yeah. September, Wednesday, September 21st, um, we will be launching the generator uh, at 10 p.m. Uh, UTC. So again, just do a uh, conversion uh, to your local time zone. Uh, but before that, we wanted to do a quick overview of what the generator is. Um, again, not only is Steve an avid Splinterlands player like myself, uh, but he also is involved in the EMP ecosystem and can give uh, some great insight onto how these contracts operate. So without further ado, Steve, how are you today, brother? You know what? I, I'm doing pretty good and I'm pretty excited about this because this is a pretty big partnership. It started with just you guys getting the EMP token added to the marketplace, the ability to buy credits with that. And the partnership is good for both of the, you know these things because it's, it's a way to like make profit on either side of this and not hurt either one of the projects, which is very rare to see because of how they are interconnected. And this is just growing that relationship, which is really, really exciting. And this thing is definitely one of the more difficult things to understand if you're not into DeFi and, and, and some people can distrust things like this, but I hope we can get them past that as we kind of go through this today. Yep, absolutely, brother. And again, I want to start by saying this contract is not for everybody. Uh, again, you always want to do your own research um, and get involved with things that you truly understand. So we're going to do it, hopefully keep it as short as we can, uh, about the ten, next 10 or 20 minutes uh, to go and do an overview so that all of you are ready uh, for uh, the generator launch. So uh, I'm going to walk Steve through this. Uh, we're going to be doing a screen capture here, um, and I'm going to give you a high-level overview, and then um, we'll, we'll get into some last-minute strategy and how to uh, maximize your gains. But uh, the generator is a copy of the detonator, and the detonator uh, is our original concept. Um, it has been running now for uh, about seven months, and uh, it's been absolutely incredible. Uh, what we feel is one of the most sustainable ROI contracts to ever have been created. Um, uh, we also launched the reactor, uh, which is again, another version of this uh, with our BNB uh, uh, eShare uh, liquidity pair. And that again has generated almost $2 million of locked liquidity uh, within the first uh, about 15 days. So we, we hope that we see similar results with the generator. Um, the whole point of the generator is a gamified ROI contract that helps protocols uh, such as Splinterlands and, and any other uh, protocol that we offer this for uh, to have locked liquidity uh, and also provide incentives for people to provide that liquidity. So uh, I also want to say, too, this is not a Splinterlands product. Uh, we are, a again, a third party um, that uh, is offering the service, uh, but it's not an official Splinterlands product. Uh, this is just something uh, that we wanted to bring to the community um, to help build the SPS BNB liquidity. Um, and again, further the adoption of SPS. I, uh, I'm a, 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 a long time Splinterlands player myself. Um, I'm a Monster Maverick. Uh, I have a top 15 account overall, and I want SPS to moon uh, just like all of you do. So this is a really, uh, again, I'll give you that background to just say that we're all here for the right reasons and we're excited for what the future holds. So let me give, again, a high level overview and then we'll go into more. Uh, and Steve, you're more than welcome to elaborate or ask me questions uh, as we go. But uh, this is a Again, a daily ROI contract, which means you're going to deposit SPS, BNB, LP. Um, if you don't know how to create LP, uh, we'll have a button called a ZAP, Z-A-P. Um, and actually, Steve, you may be able to see it now. If you approve your eShare BNB LP, and everybody will have to do this uh, when they first interact with the contract, you get permission, everything is secure. Um, 
And then you may have to refresh just so it updates. Oh, there it goes. Perfect. And then, yeah, you may have to refresh one time. Sorry, Steve, we got it. And then, yeah, you'll see. There it is. So you can zap in right there. So if you don't know how to create LP uh, on your own, um, you can zap in with BNB or BUSD, and it will make the LP pair for you um, and then deposit it into the contract. So uh, if you know how to make LP, you can just hit the deposit button, um, which is next to that, and uh, deposit the LP directly. So, yep, Steve's ready to go, brother. You're already ready to roll. There you go, man. <laughs> So um, that is really important, but you have to understand that once you deposit into the generator, your BNB, uh, SPS BNB LP is locked. So that means you're not able to get it out. Um, however, you do receive what we call daily burst. So right there on the overview, um, yep, right there, you were just there, uh, Steve. Yep, that says estimated daily burst right by your mouse. That will be the amount that you get back every single day. Um, and uh, again, that will vary depending on the size of the pool, uh, how many people are in the contract, uh, how much money is in the contract, and um, uh, different variables such as that. But even like with Reactor, um, we're seeing at least 1% daily uh, in returns. And the first misconception is uh, that 365% ROI does not necessarily translate to APR. Um, so again, I know we were just talking about this, Steve, but maybe you want to elaborate on that a little bit if I, I helped you kind of uh, wrap your head around that. But yeah, go ahead, brother. Yeah, one of the things that I, even I was confused on going into this was a little bit like, how do you pay out 365 percent because I was thinking that was in a year and and I was like I don't know if I fully understand the math but then again I'm making one percent in my reactor deposit so you almost are going to pay that out in a year if that were to continue so For I'm sure. like oh I guess it's working but then I realized oh wait we had our talk it's not a year it's just an overall return that you're entitled to based on your deposit and the contract is going to make however much it's going to make give you a payout daily and then you can keep claiming until you've reached your max payout number which is a 3.65 multiplier and so that to me uh fixed a lot of things in my mind because now i understand you know things are hot right now in the reactor and we're making great percentages but eventually it might slow down to where that percentage slows down but you continue to earn you continue to get your returns you continue to be able to compound or claim and eventually at one point if you were to you know exit the system it'd be because you claimed all of your rewards perfect well said steve and yeah and again i understand that is a misconception uh with a lot of people and that's why we're trying to do these videos to help explain it a little bit more um so and yeah uh, the idea is too that you want to compound more than you claim because then you actually never hit your maximum payout and you truly not only can you roi faster um through the power of compound interest but now you're also again uh, again, never able to actually hit your maximum uh, ROI. So, uh, for instance, you know, we recommend a 6 1 or a 5 2 strategy, which means you compound five days a week, you claim two days a week, uh, or you compound six days a week, and you claim one day a week. And if all of us did that, uh, th this contract would only grow, um, which again adds massive locked liquidity to uh, SPS BNB. And again, I mean, right now, I think there's about uh, $1.4 million of liquidity on SPS BNB. I mean, uh, for as large of a project as Splinterlands is, you know, we should see at least double to triple that. Um, and the larger the lot of liquidity of a protocol, um, the easier people can get in and out of S SPS. Um, and, and again, it attracts larger investors that may not even be in the, the Splinterlands ecosystem, but just want exposure to SPS. So we're really excited for what that will do uh, to the overall landscape. Um, and then furthermore, by doing this, it also locks up a lot of SPS. So now not only are we providing deep liquidity um, uh, through the contract, but now a lot of that SPS is off 
the circulating supply because all the SPS that's locked up for liquidity um, cannot be withdrawn um, again other than that daily burst amount uh, every single day. Which again, if you re read our white paper, which uh, there'll be links uh, in the description as well, uh, only 3% of the overall pool balance is distributed every day as rewards. So uh, this helps keep the contract extremely sustainable. And one of the other amazing game theories of our contract is if you do not claim or compound your uh, rewards within a 24 hour cycle, those rewards are given back to the protocol or to the pool where um, you're not basically losing out on those rewards. You're just losing out on the time it takes to ROI or or get those rewards. So it extends your your uh, claim by a day. And this is massive for, again, the sustainability of the protocol. So, uh, and then we also have uh, some major incentives uh, on top of all this. So um, again, uh, we have our daily lottery. So depending on what you deposit uh, into the contract, um, you get tickets and those tickets are then in, uh, make you eligible uh, for, uh, again, up to um, uh, right now, Reactor, and we, we envision it'll be about the same numbers. Um, it's about $12,000 uh, a day that we're giving away um, in, in U.S. dollar value. And again, when we, we say lottery, really, it's a, it's a, it's a giveaway. Um, we just say lottery because it's easy for people to understand. Uh, but it is a lossless lottery. So even if you don't win, uh, you, you still get credit for your deposit. Um, and that is a really important difference to where, uh, again, we're not a raffle or a lottery where, where there has to be a loser to be a winner. Uh, everybody can win. And we're able to give these incredible rewards because if you do win the lottery uh, or the largest deposit bonus, which we'll talk about in a second, um, uh, you're not able to claim those rewards immediately. Uh, they're actually put into your pool balance or your overall deposits um, to where, again, you, you still get credit for winning, but you get it over time, not uh, all at once where you can uh, dump on all of our heads. <laughs> so it makes it a lot more sustainable that way as well and, and a way that we can give such massive rewards. Um, and then finally, we also offer the largest deposit bonuses. So at the end of the 24 hour cycle, which again is set for 10 p.m. UTC every single day, if you are the largest depositor at the end of that uh, countdown, you get a matching bonus on your deposit. So say you're able to deposit, uh, you know, a uh, uh, 1000 LP, um, and you are the largest depositor of the day, you get a matching bonus of 1000 LP. So this is really uh, amazing for uh, those that are able to afford that. Um, however, it's not a whales game. Uh, because when, when those people are going in, that allows the pool balance to grow and actually pay out all of the minnows um, that that are that are entitled to you know the rewards that they're getting. So uh, again, we we have everything designed specifically for sustainability, and uh, it really is special uh, how it's all come together. So, Steve, is there anything you want to elaborate on a little bit more in terms of how the contract operates? Yeah, I mean, one thing I want to elaborate on a little bit more before we get into the contract is his statement that there is not that much BNB SPS liquidity on the Binance Smart Chain currently. And one of the things that a project like this can do, if we can allow it to get us more, is start to bring some more attraction into maybe bigger pockets of people who might want to speculate on the token that are not really within our ecosystem. Splinterlands keeps so much internal that right now a whale on the outside might be looking at that token pair and being like, there's way too much slippage there if I wanna make a big buy. Or there's just not that much liquidity. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get my money back out. And if we can, you know, if this project can embrace and literally double, triple or quadruple how much liquidity we have locked within this uh, within this ecosystem of the Binance Smart Chain, it can help maybe grow the project into a, an area where people can see like, oh, wow, like I can actually make a $100,000 buy and it's not going to move the price so much. So th that's definitely something that I'm excited about in, in this ecosystem growing. As far as how the contract works, to me, it's relatively 
uh, you know, it's simple and complicated at the same time. And it has some fun gamification because I'm, I've been playing, I've been using detonator and reactor. I got into reactor early. Definitely. What I've seen is there is some, there's lots of different ways you can approach this, but the main thing I've seen is like in the beginning, that win it now button can be very rewarding for the minnows, even though it's rewarding a whale each day, because it allows these very big deposits to come in early on into an ecosystem. Oh, and uh, that's going to mess us up, huh? Or do I want to just keep going? Yep, just keep going. We'll get through it. We're Our, our timer's almost up, but I think we'll, have, we'll get it done in 10 minutes. So go ahead, Steve. Okay, yeah. So so, the, so it allows you to, um, you know, put in your initial deposits. Uh, you can go for the lotto tickets. You can build a compounding uh, you know, a five, two or a six, one kind of plan. And then you can just watch your investment grow and grow and grow and grow. And at the same time, it protects you from making any big mistakes because you're, while some people might think your deposit is gone, it's not gone. It's just locked. And then it will be released back to you over time. So it will help turn you from being someone that might be really reactive to the movements of SPS or, B, or, or BNB into somebody that is, you know, forced to kind of ride this out a little bit more for the long term. So if you're somebody that really sees the kind of, you know, future that we see for the SPS token, this is definitely a way you can gamify your your ability to just diamond hold this a asset so yep great great analogy steve and absolutely i mean you know we could see sps double or triple from here and i can guarantee you uh there's going to be a lot of people taking profit but if you're in detonator uh, i'm sorry generator uh again detonator is our original contract but if you're in generator it makes you diamond hand. And now, not only are you getting the price appreciation because you still have exposure to the LP token. So now you get uh, what we call impermanent gain uh, rather than impermanent loss. Um, uh, you'll end up with a lot more BNB uh, when you when you take out the LPs, um, but you're also able to to you're forced to hold, you know, until we could see that uh, our glorious dollar SPS uh, or who knows, maybe even higher. So it really is a win win um, for anybody in. Um, and again, uh, one last thing, and it, we're, we're running out of time here. Uh, but one last thing I wanted to mention is what makes this not a ponzi so we get a lot of comparisons to uh, a ponzi scheme and yes there is definitely some uh and i hate to even use the word uh but ponzi nomics uh involved meaning you know uh that we do offer instant rewards so if you're in the contract and somebody deposits after you uh which is really apparent with our daily uh, largest depositor bonus um, and like like Steve said, um, the the win it now the the uh, bonus. We see a lot of volume entering the contract, uh, even after the contract's been running for a while. It's not necessarily in the first you know few weeks. Um, it, it could be months after. Um, and what happens is these larger deposits are then distributed amongst everybody that's already in the contract. So you know that is I guess where the only comparison to a Ponzi would be. Um, but uh, we are depositing fresh capital into Generator every single day. Um, and that alone, you know, uh, uh, dispels any comparison to a Ponzi scheme because uh, there is fresh capital every single day. And how we're able to do that is through the LP reward. So, Steve, I don't know if you want to pull up yep, the pools. Here we go. So um, this contract will now become one of the largest holders of that SPS BNB LP. And therefore we're gonna be entitled to um, a, a portion of those rewards that Splinterlands gives out anyway. And so we're putting all of those rewards uh, back into the pool uh, as fresh capital, uh, making LP with it uh, every single day, uh, which again will, uh, uh, in other words, there. In order to ROI, there doesn't need to be any new volume or any new investors uh, as long as this LP reward is continued. So 
that is a really important difference um, than most ROI contracts. And again, uh, 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 dispels any of the, the Ponzi uh, uh, comparison. So does that make sense, Steve? I don't know if you want to elaborate. Yeah. Yeah. So basically what this does, the ability for them to take the two assets and put them into a farm that is going to be being paid out for the foreseeable future from Splinterlands at this high percentage is always bring new fresh capital within the ecosystem so they can continue to pay out those daily bursts and let you claim or compound your tokens. And this is something that they're definitely going to be the biggest holder of and the biggest share taker of these rewards over time. And the other thing that it shows is that the way that AJ's kind of approached each one of these contracts is knowing that there has to be uh, many ways to get fresh capital into the ecosystem. It comes down to the biggest depositor bonuses, the daily lotto, you know, lotto, lotto and raffle bonuses that go on, the win it now buttons, and utilizing the actual funds that are in the ecosystem to go ahead and get some additional rewards. All of this allows him to continue to build that pool up, up and up and up and up and up, which then demands more people to pay attention to it because all of a sudden when the daily lotto winner is winning twenty thousand dollars or thirty thousand dollars there's some people that start to pay attention and be like okay I, maybe i want to put some of my assets into there because they could literally double or triple overnight or quadruple if you got you know the sky's the limit really because you can win with one ticket so. totally absolutely steve and that again you know the other question is well why don't I just put my own SPS BNB uh, in the pool uh, and, and forego generator? And the short answer is number one, uh, generator is very beneficial to Splinterlands itself uh, because again, that is locked liquidity. Um, so if you're bullish on the protocol and want to help, um, that would be a great way to, to do that. Uh, but, but more importantly, uh, there is that gamification element. So like Steve said, going into a uh, generator, you, you, do have the possibility of winning the lottery or uh, really setting up a passive income stream of SPS BNB, uh, you know, uh, forever, uh, which we hope again. I mean, uh, nothing is guaranteed in crypto and we've done everything we can to make this as sustainable as possible. Um, it is a game. Uh, could the, the, the contract balance go to zero? Yes, absolutely. Uh, I would never uh, say something that's not possible. However, uh, again, we've done everything we can to make it sustainable. Um, and I want what everybody else wants. Uh, and that's, again, a very healthy uh, SPS price. And so uh, to, to finalize everything, too, we are also making the commitment um, because uh, everybody's going to say, well, what's in it for EMP? So we do take a 4% fee on all deposits. Um, and so that will be the BNB uh, uh, BNB uh, SPS LP. However, we will not be dumping the SPS portion. So even if we break the LP, we keep the BNB side uh, of that four percent to pay. You know our devs and our our, our hosting and our licensing. Um, this is using a chain link oracle as well um, for provo pro uh, provable fairness um, on the random uh, winners. So we pay for all that. Um, uh, uh, that Oracle, the VRF through, through Chainlink. And so, uh, but my point is, is that now EMP will, will start to become one of the largest holders of SPS, um, which again is keeping it off of the market. And just like Splinterlands uh, uses EMP uh, as a payment method and holds a lot of EMP in their treasury, we will do the same. Uh, and this is a very synergistic relationship for both of us. So uh, on that note, we're going to wrap it up. I hope that answered a lot of questions. Again, we're running out of time here. I wish we could go a little bit longer, but Steve, any final words? Yeah, I just want to say, you know, thank you to everybody in the community that checks this out, that gives it an honest look and tries to learn about it. You want to make sure you understand what you're getting into, but there is an opportunity to grow your liquidity a lot faster in this contract if you understand it and if everything works out for it. Do you understand there is risk in this, but at the same time where there's risk, there can be very big rewards. Amazing. Thank you, Steve. Really appreciate it, my friend. And we'll see all of you really soon. If you have any further questions, please join our socials, Telegram, and Discord. Goodbye, everyone. Goodbye.